The sky trapped in clouds, threatening. The air heavy with words. The weight of droplets that sleet earthwards. Crystals breaking on pavement, streaming on windows. The day steamy, damp. I tap on a laptop by the window of an Italian cafe, sipping cappuccino. I write to him. An obscure woman attacks my writing as impenetrable. Her target was someone else. The arrows, the marks. The woman haunting. Her odd responses. The ceaselessness of her words. Does the writing we are immersed in trouble you, monsieur? The communities I post in, flocks of birds flying in scattered formation. Today, mon cher, I am not good with words. Describe her? I trace patterns in her words, read her braille of air. We surf where the screen becomes a brine of glass and posts open and close like visions. Where writing is an ocean continually closing over itself. Her stories are long, drawn out. Paragraphs encroach. Waves dissolve, sand the shore. She is the rising tide. My screen splashes with spilling breakers. Imagine her. Her hair, like seaweed, pulled back loosely with wisps lining the face. I've never seen her or looked at a photograph. She wears veils of words, obscuring sea sprays of forcefulness that surprise. I use the imagery of water, monsieur, but the metaphors shift and leave the desolate shore and come into the city of words, to her house where she moves like an exotic figment of fabric and skin.